Well, lots of action downtown. Four parades rolled down Route A today, starting with the Floral Parade and the Knights of Mobile, Mobile Mystical Ladies, and Order of Angels. I went to check things out, and I met two very interesting people, a seasoned veteran and a novice. Roaming the parade route, I found Juliana Obar sitting in a chair, decked out in a mask and a pretty groovy looking umbrella. Thinking she was a seasoned reveler, I was surprised to find out this is her very first Mardi Gras parade. I've been told that people are going to throw things at me and I need to catch them. I've heard something about mood pies, but I don't know if those are actually thrown. If they are, that's going to be interesting. She and her friend Carrie Jenkins caught on quick, though, once the parade started rolling. Their first catch, moon pies, of course. After collecting a scarf full of beads, Obar hit the jackpot, catching a huge stuffed teddy bear. It was so much fun. It was a lot. It was a little different than I had originally thought it was going to be. May have accidentally elbowed my friend a couple of times. But elbows are all part of the game here, unless you're this guy. Well, it's a New Orleans thing. If you did Mardi Gras in New Orleans, you would see these ladders lined up side by side by side, and there's rules and regulations and all that good stuff. Jim Fulford built this custom-made ladder to fit his grandson, who sits on top during the parade. You put a baby up there or a kid up there and a woman standing behind him, you clean up. These two definitely cleaning up after a successful day of reveling.